What's that noise? It wasn't you, was uh, it? Sounded a bit like that, didn't it? There we go. Excellent. We've got contact. Excellent. Hello, Diane Church. How are you going? And Michelle Ryan. Good to see you. Getting a few um, few joining, which is fantastic. I hope it's not. Yeah, it will be. Hello, Heather. Always on time. Um, happy uh, happy yeah, Monday. That's a weird noise. Happy Monday, guys. Except evening peeps. This is the start of the week. It is. Nellie Holmes as well. So, did anybody guess what my post was about? What we're going to be cooking with tonight? I know Michelle Ryan did because she sent me a message. Can I actually see these nasty little... Be careful. I'm being careful. Take Ooh. it over and see. Ooh. Because... Gotta be careful. Hello, Mrs. Tux. Good to see you. Nasty, nasty little things. Al! Al! From Niagara! Where have you been, buddy? Good to see you. Do you get these things in Canada? Stinging nettle. Can you get a close They probably call it something else. So I'm just I gonna. I'm, I'm doing it live for Basie at the minute. I will. And then we'll drop down to you guys. <laughs> Michelle, oh my god, I hate this plant. So Who try the club, love. Um, so just to let you know, what's ended up happening here is that <laughs> oh, scary. I have I've been stung by it and had a reaction that was still there two hours later to the point I was thinking I probably need to go to the hospital but ended up taking an antihistamine, scrubbing, scrubbing my skin um, and putting ice on it and it went away. I probably toughened up a bit as well. Um, but I've spent years poisoning this stuff and pulling it out, I pull it out by the roots and then I leave it on the, um, on the ground to shrivel up and die because I think I hate you. And I've now found out that it's pr probably one of the best friends in the bloody garden. I can't believe it. And I said, Mick out to poison it. one of the best it. friends in the garden. Fuck. Well, I'm quickly going to tell you, we're cooking with this tonight, right? We're, we're going to make something out of it. going to show you how to handle it. We're going to um, cook something. and maybe. Well, anyway, Thursday. listen up. This what? is what's in this thing. So the nutrients that are in it, vitamins A, C, K, and several of the B vitamins, calcium, iron, magnesium, phosphorus, potassium, and sodium. It's got a heap of good fats in it all the essential amino acids. It's got uh, polyphenols as well. Not even gonna go into pronouncing Very those. Very important. Beta carotene, etc., etc. Now, um, it's got, uh, the nutrients act like antioxidants in your body and antioxidants are the best thing that you can have for your blood circulation and um, you all that up, sort of stuff. Aging, bad food. cancers, harmful diseases, um, reduces inflammation. We won't, won't say the other C word because we don't know. The other C, oh, COVID. <laughs> don't know about that one. We don't know. <laughs> um, now, it's shown to have good effects on arthritis and things like that with creams and what have you. Anyway, the list goes on and on, and I think that's enough for me to go, well, I'm going to try this stuff. And until everyone discovers it, you can pretty much walk out anywhere and find this stuff. We've been on a farm today, an avocado farm, and it's everywhere. Yeah, you can get the stuff anywhere. Uh, we've got it growing down our driveway. We've got it growing down the back near the lagoon. I managed to save some of it. I told Mick to spray it and poison it, which he did. And then I realized that it was good. So I went out and threw seeds everywhere and they've come up. So we've still got some going as well. So we're gonna make some stinging nettle soup, guys. Um, Jody Ann's drunk at his tea. So you had some today? I had some today. Yeah. Um, I had some aloe vera me. and that. And I'm not one of these, it's got to be out of the ground, healthy, hippie, weird. Pocus, pocus yeah, people? Yeah, not at all. No. But if it's got nutrients in it and it doesn't taste bad, well, you know, why not? Give it a crack. So it's got a bit of a peppery taste to it, right? Um, that's how I. Hello, Trace. Um, Trace Edwards has just joined Sandy Davies as well. Um, so we're just going to make a soup, super simple, really basic start, our good old friend, as we often say, a sofrito or a mirepoix, depending on whether you want to feel a bit Italian or a little bit French. So I've already cut up some celery, small dice, carrot, small dice, 
and an onion. Don't worry about quantities. Whatever you reckon is a good thing, you just go with however many you want to use. I will put a recipe up tomorrow. So promise? I promise. And I've actually so done we're trying a to quick, make these a little bit quicker too. We're trying to shorten some stuff up to so we're not um, holding you guys up all night um, while we're got just waiting for food to get hot. Yeah. So we're, we're going to try and do a little bit of a um, a faster cook for you uh, while still being engaged with everyone and um, all that sort of stuff. Make so I'll just peel fun. potato. Um, potato is a really good base for a soup. If you want to try a flavour, potato is a pretty good go-to, isn't it? This is going to make it a little bit thicker and creamy. You know what I mean? We're going to blitz it and it's going to get, um, it's going to be a little bit creamy. It's not a cream soup at all. It's This is about the stinging nettle and um, it gives you good energy as well. It's literally, um, it's just a vessel for the stinging nettle at the end of the day. Yep. Do you get what I mean? And you can play around with it. Once you taste that flavour and have a go, you can do whatever you like with it. But, 100%. You know, once again, it's just a base. It's a good base for any soup. I'm going to put chicken stock in, you can use veggie stock. You could use beef stock. Whatever you've got going. Uh, I just happen to have a bit of chicken and I'll tell you what I do have which I only purchased the other week I don't normally have powdered stock it's just that um, masal, masal, however you want to pronounce it chicken stock so that's all we're going with you want to chuck in the carrot and the celery so it's sort of two small sticks of celery and one large carrot so we've already pre-cut that up nice and small Spend a bit more time in your prep. These Ooh. things cook up quicker and easier. Josh Roberts is looking forward to this too, so that's fantastic. Jay Homan, I bet you you've got a stack yeah, you'd of Yeah, you'd have You'd be laughing. As well. So that's awesome. Yep, Ned. And metal. this is a know. really dark green soup too. It's You're really gonna thin love it. If you haven't signed up to our webpage yet, um, champagnefoodonabeerbudget.com.au, Please get on there tonight and uh, subscribe. I think the subscription thing's on the first page because I'll be posting a blog on stinging nettle. I tried to get it done over the weekend. We've just been way too busy visiting farms and doing a bit of recce for our TV show. Um, but it's a it's a cracker of a blog. It'll have the recipe. It'll have some photos and um, yeah. It's, it's Tony Ann wanted to write a book once and. She's got a, a bit of her personality and writing skills going into this one. Exactly. It's a bit of fun. Which stinging nettles, as a rule, are so much not fun. Has anyone got any good stinging nettle stories? Actually, I've told you mine. A who soup. A stinging nettle soup. <laughs> you learn those. <laughs> oh my god. These are hilarious. Everyone's, no one can believe it. Neither can I. So what happened was, Neither can I. I had a girlfriend tell me that her uh, mother used to drink stinging nettle tea and I just thought her mum must be nuts. And when I'd sent Mick out to spray it all, I remember what Kim had said to me. So I started doing a bit of research and thought, you idiot, what have you done? You've just poisoned one of the most nutritious weeds in the garden. Too Could true. Throw an apron on. You No, we haven't. Oh, thanks, Mama. Hi guys, Saints in front at quarter time. No John Atherton yet? Would that be right? I'm hoping that someone's going to keep me keep me up to date with the footy in that um, St Kilda My Team's playing tonight. Now what's L from Canada saying? Nettle even. Oh hang on, what's he written? We have stinging nettle here as well. Very healthy. We picked some wild garlic scapes last week. We have that in soup too, I guess. I don't know. So there you go. It's worldwide. The old stinging nettle. And I'm tipping everyone. It doesn't everyone hates it. Are, hates it. So now this is the reason that I've, I've got... These are my gardening gloves. Um, so they're full leather. You want long sleeves. <laughs> and mind you, I did get a little tickle of one today and I battled on regardless. It was a very little tickle, but I thought, no, I'm going to completely ignore it. And uh, have a look at me now. So this is how you want to pick the stuff. I'll show you, do a quick demo. Out front, chuck that garlic in, please, love. I've got 
got that in water so that it didn't wilt. But where are we? I'm trying to see if I can actually show you the spikes. Because even the stems are spiky. You can't even see the spike, can you? Yeah, you can. There you go. You can actually see, guys, see along that stem, you can see the spikes. Yep, right there. So that stuff, full of histamine. You know you hear about antihistamine? Full of histamine. So, and they're like little barbs, so they get into your skin. They're all over the leaves as well. So when you're handling it, just make sure that you're protected. Don't try and pull them out with your hands, Michelle Ryan. Um, and then I suppose it just depends on your own allergic reaction. Now the other thing I wanted to show you was, see these little bits in here? This one's actually going to seed, right? Am um, I showing it well enough? Yeah, that little, these little bits here going to seed. One just dropped off as we're talking, right? So, when you, the seeds are bitter, don't want to use the seeds. So all I'm going to do for this soup is, I've washed this by the way, because it was up the driveway, um, is I'm just going to pull the leaves off one by one. If it didn't have seeds on it, the first time that I made tea and this soup, a few oh, a month or so ago, um, I just put the whole lot in. I literally just put the whole lot in because uh, the stems and everything are okay. But you don't want the you don't want the seeds. All right. So I'll pop that over there. So I'll so pull it back through. I reckon. Um, Thank you. I'm going to let you. But all right. You're in charge there. I've, I've done all I can really. Have I? Yep. So any soup is um, good with a bread to dip. So what I'm going to do is do one of your palms and breads. Oh yeah, right. Remember um, Smorgies, guys? I think it was Smorgies or what's that other one? It's just literally closed down in um, Rockhampton. Where you used to have the big um, island bench of what's food. This? Oh, sorry. It's still doing carving gloves on my... I know. Chop board. I know, I know. There's Jodie Ann's um, beautiful bread she makes, which. <laughs> Got a secret coming on that secret soon. Secret coming on that, but Can't it's. Can't tell just you that till next week, but anyway. Home baked bread. What all I'm going to do here, guys, is throw some butter on there. Nice and thick with your butter or margarine. So I've just put two cups of stock in. I did use a heaped teaspoon of the powder so that I've got enough for one litre. So if you're a person that buys stock in the carton, just use the whole carton. And like I said, it doesn't matter what you want to use, whether it's vegetable, if you're vegan and or vegetarian. Well, you could be organised and have your own stock. Well, yeah, fridge, even which... better. That's what I would use if I was better yeah. organised. But um, yeah, we've got so much stuff going on. So all I'm doing here is just a really thick layer of butter. Potato. And parmesan. So you know, um, dried parmesan, like in the shaker, that's what it is. And then we're gonna stick it under the grill when the time is ready under a low grill. And that cheese will get all nice and brown and the um, butter will melt through the bread. The underneath stays nice and soft and the top gets um, nice and crunchy. And you want much, much more than that. Yeah? Yep, as thick as you can possibly make it. Well, oh, don't say that. Beautiful. Ooh. Oh, I was just being so concrete up. the other day. <laughs> you were so. Yep, good, good, good. All the way out to the edges. Beautiful. And another thing you could do before you even start with it is if you actually get that garlic that I just had, just get your garlic and wipe it on the bread before you start with the butter. We'll give you a little garlic. Nice. Tinge in there. Yep, exactly. But what we didn't do that. that didn't think of that. Was it Smorgies? Who? What? The place that I'm talking about. Um, oh, Susie Hughes too, as well, as in, um, from Niagara Falls. Good to see you, Suze. Oh, here we go. Michelle Ryan. My son fell into a big patch of horrible stingy metal when he was one. He oh. had very sore nuts and butt. Oh, no. <laughs> was he that nude? He must have been nude. Poor bugger. Stingy metal soup, Nelly. I remember being at my uncle's farm Sensory. jumping off a roof. And doing the old land and roll, and it was through stinging nettles. And yeah, I didn't. Sizzlers! Thank you. That's 
exactly what it was. Wasn't happy about it at all. Um, so this? with hey, your blitz and everything you're doing, I'll hold yep. off, but I'll just whack the grill on. Yeah, no, nah, I wouldn't, because I'd no, not yet, because that'll get too hot, too quick. Don't turn it on. Yeah, that our our griller. Yeah, sorry, our griller gets mega hot, mega fast. So it's better if you creep up on it. So I'm gonna get that starting to boil. And actually, what I might do, I'm gonna do a swap o chango, guys. So this is where it's happening. There's one we prepared earlier. Yep. So I'll just get this one up to 10. Why did I prepare the um, electrical for you? And you changed it out of curiosity. It's over there, I don't know. Hmm. Um, so, what I didn't show you, sorry, I have jumped ahead of the gun a little bit. So I was picking off all those leaves. That potato, let's assume that it was boiling, the stock with the potato and what have you. I don't want this to boil the whole time. So 20 minutes with the potato in the stock. And then start throwing in your stinging nettle. And you want about, well, as much as you can pick, honestly, if you can only pick a couple of, um, you know, sprigs or whatever that are any good, use them. But I've used about six. So I reckon I've used the equivalent of about a cup worth of stinging nettle. Now, is that a cup after they've been boiled? No, so that's a cup of fresh. So I literally just stood here, keeping the stem away from the pot so that it didn't drop the seeds in there, and just kept picking and throwing, and picking and throwing, picking and throwing, and that's all you want to do. There you go, kids. Pick and throw, pick and throw. So I would use Keep going. that one and another four or five of them. So like I said, a lot speedier when, um, a lot faster when you don't have to worry about the seeds, but it's just that time of the season. It's so funny to be cooking in gardening gloves, isn't it? I love it. <laughs> it's just crazy. It makes perfect sense to have an outdoor kitchen. Wow, that's exactly right, which is coming along really nicely as well, guys. Do you reckon I should just keep picking and tossing? Mm -hmm. You can pick and toss. You pick and toss. You do some pick and that. toss, and I'll speak to some gloves. people. Uh, Your gloves aren't going to be uh, see, so, da, da, da. what do we got here? Josh Roberts. Hey guys, oh, yep, we've already been there. Um, Blanching Cliff will Banks. help with the sting. Cliff Banks is yeah, here. Bobby, That's my flight instructor. Taught yes. me how to fly a plane, that man. Taught you how to be a pilot. Hello, Claire Taylor. Hey, Claire, like your garden. That's looking good. TR. Looks like you've had a lot of rain up there. John Atherton, I was talking to you later and you weren't even here. You need to keep me up to date with the footy scores, please. And Kate. Hartley, always lovely to see you, my darling. I assume the stingy bits don't hurt when you eat it. So, no. when you blanch them or cook them, so you have them in tea, the stingy bits go away. So, I'll show you. As soon you as they get hot water, don't know the exact temperature, but as soon as they get hot water. It's not immediate, but you sort of want to let it go for, you know, three or four minutes. So, this is what I made the tea in. It's a, um, a little. Oh, I didn't have the word for it earlier. You know, you just stick your leaves in there mm. and then put some boiling water in over the top and it's got a slight peppery taste. Not like cracked pepper, like celery pepper. And it's delicious. It's really good. Hello, Pierce. Hello, hello. Hello, hello back. All good tonight. What's Katie saying? Go away. Who are we? Oh, Kate, yeah. Um, Kate. No, that's what a lot of them say. Um, oh, Renee, from all the way from WA. Good to see you, gorgeous. Um, Renee, uh, Kate's got, you've got stinging nettle around your veggie gardens. I pointed them out, I reckon, when we were there the other day. And we're going to make more ago. stuff with this. Because um, it's not, it's definitely not, uh, it's a nice taste. It's, it's kind of like spinach, do you reckon? Well, you reckon that it's got spinach characteristics um, about it, the flavour. Yeah, but also I reckon um, celery. So when so it's a bit peppery, but a bit spinachy. Bit spinachy, yeah. So when I after I'd made Mick this tea and what I threw out of that little whatever we're going to call it, um, it looked just like spinach. 
So, so I even, when I saw it, I thought, oh, I wonder how you go blanching it and putting it over eggs in the morning with a bit of hollandaise. Easy. I don't yeah. think you'd, anyone would pick it. You could put it through risotto. Um, because We've it, got some ideas. It looks... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, some things we wouldn't on, want. Oh, hang on. I'm just We're going to try and play with it. Uh, I don't really... It's not and a, it's free. It, like, really, really free. <laughs> you go over to your neighbours and they'll think you're doing them a favour. As long as you haven't killed it. They'll mow your lawns as long as you take their stinging noodles away. It's not a very big amount, but that's your stinging nettle there. So anyway, this one that we prepared earlier is taking a long time now. What's going on? Yes, Mick's got his little curl happening. Thank you. I'll come inside and just put a... I literally put a wet sponge too. on my head. I have no idea what's happened to me head. Looks good. I like I need, the curl. I need Danelle. Danelle, if you're out there. Yeah, but she she's, can't, she's she a can't whole go COVID there away. she can't come here, yeah. Oh, no. Exactly. Hey, how's everyone going in Melbourne, by the way, with the lockdown? Well, I think it more happens on Thursday, right? Yeah, Kate said she would never have imagined that she could eat it. I know. And I was Hang very, very time. dubious the first That's time I hurts. tried it. Yeah. And even when the first time you eat it, you think, oh, you ah! do something weird to me. Am I poisoning myself? Yeah. <gasps> it's anyway. got a lot of good antioxidants and good properties and vitamins and stuff in it. And Mick That's probably have... why it has stingy bits on it, to stop everything eating it, because it's good for you. Maybe. Um, Mick stopped. He doesn't have to poison it anymore, so there's, a, there's another. It should be your friend in the You garden. need to pick it quicker. Yeah, I know. It's everywhere at the minute. Well, we haven't actually done Friday, uh, Thursday's recipe yet. Mm. So Thursday's Morticia. recipe could be a whole new use for it. <laughs> I'm so crazy, this is sitting here. Um, I reckon that I look like Morticia too. Yeah, we're just starting to we're just starting to um, boil, so I'm happy with that. I'm actually going to turn the power off. So that looks quite thin when I look at it there. It's super thin, yeah. Because the potato is still sitting in there in the potato stock. sitting at the bottom. It looks a very thin soup at this stage. Yep. But you're about to change and I'm all a, that. I'm not a, apart from um, chicken and sweet corn, which isn't a real stocky sort of soup anyway, I, um, I'm i not a fan of all the stock soups. What are they? It's, yeah, no. I like a rich, thick soup. So, two seconds, guys, while I quickly... Make some noise. Blah, so we'll put some elevator music on for you. We're not really going <laughs> to. Any updates on the footy, guys, yeah. please? Actually, not that loud. It's not too bad, is it? Al says, yet there is so many edibles that we consider as weeds. Very true. Buy more for Scotch thistles. That's my pet, mate. Yeah. I think those guys are foragers over in Canada, Niagara Falls. It's only about its Adam's family. My head. Because your widow's peak. No, it's not, it's because of the um, stripe. You're all pink and white. She's all black with one white stripe. But anyway. Ta-da. I'll call you Morticia. Roger. Michelle's having a laugh for some now, reason. I spread the potatoes oh, between crap, two yeah, this horrible plant. Bombs. <laughs> I know, everyone hates it. It's and me too. I go around and spray it, I run over with a mower and and all you're doing when you're doing that is you're spreading the seeds, most likely. What would happen if you keep you know, eating it? I loathed the stuff. Here we go. Who we got here? Now, I'm just... Rosa gonna... say, what's this like happening, maybe? Heather, please explain. I'll leave that to Heather to explain. You've got all the gadgets. We do, Nelly. What gadgets? Most of the gadgets we've got now, I think. Good. So now, you need to see the colour of this stuff. Which you will in a sec. Have a taste to see what you reckon. Um, I pinched two potatoes. I'm a bit low on potatoes and we're not going to town till Wednesday. So I've actually pinched two potatoes to show you guys what we're doing tonight. But I would have rathered having there so it was a little bit thicker. But um, that's nice, isn't it? Oh, bowl. So we will serve her up. Oh. It is nice. Sorry, itchy nose. 
Uh, yeah, it is nice. It's done it again. I'm so, just trying to think if there's anything. There's a spoon in there now. Oops. <laughs> Quickly do That's I. That's how it tastes, a spoon in there. Who's 4113, I wonder? Take Me There too has joined, which is nice to see you. Alicia as well. Always nice when you join in. My skin's so sensitive, I'm allergic to grass. Oh, you poor thing. So am I. Mushrooms. If I roll around in the grass sometimes, I'll get itchy. Yeah, he comes I up love dogs. Lucky. Sprinkled dogs seem to make me itch too. Yeah. And I was really nervous having this thing, and oh, I was going to make my throat swell or something. <laughs> but that, it doesn't. Hello, Janine. Haven't seen you for ages. How are you going? Uh, Deb Dalton. Yes, all good, thanks. That's excellent. Um, all right, so. cheesy or something in there would be nice. Mm -mm. No? She got your bread, remember? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, which I've put under. So, yep. We'll grab a... Uh, so, ultimate, the recipe... The recipe that I will be giving you is correct um, sort of quantities. But for you guys that are cooking stuff all the time and that cook soup all the time, honestly, just do yourself a nice cream of vegetable soup and add in the stinging nettle. Um, so, yeah, it's probably a little bit thin. Because I pinched two of the potatoes so that I can show you what to do. But I'm going to add these all together. So the end result. Always look good with a. Ooh. That'd be nice. I'll, I'll still stick with the cream though. Mix just pulled out sour cream. Sour saying cream that would be nice. Be nice. And it would be. Yeah. But I want to do a drizzle with cream cream. Just because it looks nice. So it was. Clearly I can't do two things at once because I've just poured soup. It's nice to smell the cream, make sure it's okay. All good? Yeah, it's good. Zoop that out. Clean that up. I spilled it down there as well. Any score check, John Atherton, are you still here? Somebody, anybody in my mum? Ruby! How you going, Rubes? Ruby from MKR, everybody. Say hello, she's on Facebook. Hey, Rubes. I wonder you have stinging nettle in Peru. They have stinging nettle everywhere, man. Here comes our bread. No, not quite ready. I can smell it. It's that's one of those things. It's really easy to turn as well because it's got that parmesan in it. You want something to dribble that off or on a spoon? No, or... I reckon on. No, you're just gonna wing it, are you? You're gonna yeah. have one. Yep, you can get it right. Wait for that to rise through the surface. Probably too thin and it's not wanting to, but we'll there give it some go. time. <laughs> well, my soup's too thin is yeah. what I'm, is what my point is. It's not going to help with um, sour cream. It's getting there. It's floating. It's got that hot and cold scenario to it. Don't want my bread to burn. So have you shown them the colour of this stuff? Not yet. You can take it over if you want to. It's because I'd mean, like to see it on a white background. I mean, it looks nice in there, but just on a white background to see I'll do it. how green this stuff is. Whoops. There we go. Slowly creeping in. Boop. There we are. And whoops. Into facey. Oh, a bit hard to show on Facebook. Oh, there we go. I think I've got it. Uh, my cream's just gone everywhere because I've moved. But anyway, and so to just try and show you the colour, I'm going to give you a white background. Like it's a really, it's a unique green, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Like bottle green. Look, it's not the same colour as it. There we go. There's our bread. It's a really unusual green. Now you, I dare say, you guys will remember. As soon as I show this, we'll go sizzler. Because oh. remember, it was always thick <laughs> bread. It creeps definitely not worth it. It's yeah, spewing on the this, the other one that I made, which is the photos that you'll see tomorrow if you sign up for the blog. Um, it floated beautifully, but mother soup was thicker. There's our bread. Look at it, nice and thick. So nice and soft underneath, a bit crunchy on the top. Remember, Sizzler? And smells delicious. Does smell good. 
So literally just dried parmesan and butter. How easy? So we will go with cutting some of that and dipping some of that. So your, did you put some sour cream in? I did. And it so sunk right to the bottom, did it? It did, because it's thinner, because you didn't do the extra potato. Yeah, I'm out of potatoes. Yeah. So. Got to do what you can do with what you got. And we've got to stay away from town and stuff, guys. You know what I mean? Like, we're not going to run all the way into a chuka to buy some potatoes when the rules are to stay home. So, um, yeah, it'll, it'll be fine, because I've got plenty of potato in that one. All right, I just want to taste the two. Excellent, eh? And see. I'm going to go for a Because I reckon... Um, that was how you had it the first time with that cream. I like it with the sour cream. I can prefer with the sour cream. Yum. You're going to start playing like that, I'll get a bigger spoon too. I like it like that too. You know what? They're both really good. So if you've got, my mum doesn't eat sour cream, so she wouldn't even have it in the fridge, um, but she would have cream. So if you've got it, Move over, Rover. have it. If you haven't got it, doesn't matter. I'm going in with bread, let me tell you, and it doesn't matter. Um, so I reckon, yeah, what she said. Yeah, whatever you've got, whatever you fancy. You know what I mean? Greek yogurt wouldn't even be the end of the world in it. It'll work. Yum. I personally like the sour cream in there. It's good. That's a really nice, it's a really nice easy dinner. Really easy. Or Sunday, Saturday, Sunday lunch, you know, crusty bread watching the footy, that sort of thing. The other thing that happens to me, because I know all the nutrients so that are in it. Stay soup. Yeah. The, when, because I know that it's got all the good nutrients and mm. what have you in it, I feel like it's like working on my stomach already. You know what I mean? It just naturally makes you feel good straight away. It's weird. Like a like a placebo. You know, people think that they're taking something and it makes them feel better straight away. Coconut cream. I'm not into that. I just reckon it tastes all right. Would be good. Wendy! Hello, Wendy! When I worked at the mill, the chef, Josh, had stinging nettle spring rolls on the menu. Yum. Mm. His food was excellent. Haven't seen you forever, Wendy. Good to see you tonight. Um, Sorry, I'll eat. This is good. This yeah, is a good yeah, sign. Yeah. Just to catch up on a couple of quick messages. Um, and then we're probably close to being able to sign off. We're going to... Has Quartz just joined in? Yep. Um, here's, my, here's my thing. I would do... 100% I would do... It was me, sour cream and croutons. Let those croutons float in there. Yeah. Having croutons out of this would be beautiful. That peppery taste, isn't it? It's it's just got this. It's it's a new taste. I don't know if it, it's familiar but new. Yeah, yeah. You're trying to put your finger on it, but you can't. Give it a go, and it's like it's the freest ingredient you're ever gonna yeah. get, isn't it? And um, while you're madly pulling out what you think are all weeds, then so you, you can make, make soup out of lawn clippings. Ch don't um, chuck them on the ground, or I don't know what you did with yours, Michelle. Did you chuck them in the compost or in the rubbish bin or whatever? Um, mm. Yeah, go at it. This is the thin one, I'm smashing it. Mick, Mick always says, I'm not a big fan of soup, don't you? Yeah, I do. Yeah. It's got to be a good soup. Yeah, well, obviously this is going okay. That's why I did bread, so, though. Saints up by 14. Thanks, Nelly. That's We've awesome. already got a photo. Thanks for anyone who tried to remind us. Uh, dairy free. Oh, yeah, right. I get you now. Diane Beckman, how are you, lovely? For what, what are we reminding? That we've already got photos. Yeah. I've smashed mine. Yeah. So, that's pretty much the wrap. That's it, guys. guys. Sorry. That quick and that easy. We're not going to reveal what we're going to do on Thursday because we haven't even tried it. We came up with the idea yesterday. Yeah. And we haven't even tried it. Yeah. I'm so, thinking, we are going to try it. I'm thinking it's going to be stinging nettle. I think it'll be okay. I think it's going to be stinging nettle week, I've got to say. Not that I've promoted it as that, but I'm just giving myself a backstop. We've got to very hectic couple of days just in case I don't get to um, to trial it but who knows we may end up trying yeah, so we won't days. announce it because yeah we have to we haven't tried it we don't know no um, but I think it'll be a really funky idea again with stinging nettle 
I'll put it this way. If I don't do it Thursday, we will be doing it probably the week after, after I've had the more I'm having this, I reckon the flavour will work. Yeah. Hmm. For sure. For hmm. sure. Should be interesting. Excellent, guys. Well. All right, guys. I'd say we can sign off, do you reckon? Early night. Can you believe it? We're going to try and bring them down to this sort of time. So well, she's just joined, so that's a bit of a bummer. Our concern is, and please let us know what you think, we'll our see. concern is that um, we do simple little fun recipes, and <laughs> if we're dragging it out too much and boring people, uh, we don't want to do that. Yeah, yeah, we don't that's want people to go, like, what, 45 minutes to watch I'm a video? I'm not that's ridiculous. 45 minutes to make Because that's what, that's what we do. We see a video that goes for that long, we think not interested. Yeah, I'll just get the um, recipe. Josh is saying I'll taste test for you. Uh, so Sam Closey is saying uh, you guys got a recipe for marshmallow weed My dogs are missing in the weeds. I thought the same thing today when I was picking that oh. stinging nettle because everywhere the stinging nettle is marshmallow weed so um, Not it has so much that white pepper feel about or something. And there's Ooh. no white pepper. It's fantastic. Say what Trev from us to Nelly um, Guys, thank you again for joining in Thursday, obviously we'll see you at eight. Don't forget to cook something that we've, which Michelle Ryan did actually, um, which I've posted. Thank you for doing that, our raviolis. Um, nice job. Cook something that we've done in our COVID cooking classes, post it. Take a photo, running. post it and tag, tag us. us so we know about it and you could win a $30 Coles voucher. Yep. That easy. And sharing the love on your page is obviously going to engage more people, which is hugely beneficial to us long term with a TV show coming up, hopefully. Um, and jump onto the website and subscribe because I want to get more into the blogs. They're a heap of fun uh, and you'll be notified whenever there's a, a new blog. So thank you, all our jammies and our newbies. And um, hope you have a best day. That's it. Yeah. Better come around this side. Okay. All right. You're going to, I thought you were going to do that. Just, ciao, ciao, to, everybody. Thing. <laughs> Take it easy and we will catch you soon.